the regional mate ROV competition for the Pacific Northwest. This is all of your underwater systems. The competition happened at the Federal Way Aquatic Center. The schedule is over there. It's really loud, but it's a really energetic sort of atmosphere. You see teams to the left and the right working on their ROV, trying to fix issues, troubleshoot. Like, hey, time to draw your blood. There were a lot of kids and they had really cool designs. So, so it was really nice to initially see those designs and kind of see how other teams were holding up and like how other teams were looking. Everybody's running around trying to figure things out. Not necessarily sure if the ROV is going to go in the water. Anybody been working on these guys at all? We're building a, a remotely controlled underwater vehicle. I was trying to yeah. put it on this side. The coolest part about this, it's completely from scratch, so there's no instruction book. Well, it started in uh, October, and about the first words that I put on the board were, it's October now, competition is in May, and you don't have much time. This is the ROV, the remotely operated vehicle that we built to go underwater. As the time crunches down to zero, uh, the participation level and interest level grows quite a bit. All the wires go underneath. It's kind of stressful at times, especially when deadlines are approaching and we have to get it tested in the water. We, everyone comes in and we're like, okay, we have to get this done, we have to get this done. We got the ballast tanks in here, and that side was hitting the ballast. I've never worked in a team this big, and so I realized like how much time management and like communication really came into play. It was really important that I talk to like uh, the code team or like the mechanical team so to make sure that everything like fit together. In the last month we've probably made more progress than we made in the first four months which is just it's kind of crazy to see that we took all the time we had for granted at the beginning and now we're just like running to get to the end. It's fun to see the kids uh, kind of come around and, and begin like in the, in the last maybe month and a half the activity level has picked up quite a bit. So there's some sense of urgency and people are coming up with solutions and realizing that there are problems and, and devising solutions for the problem. We did have like a water test recently on the weekend. We were able to get our ROV moving around. Go forward. Okay, go, go, go down more. And I think right now we're working on the positive like buoyancy. So I think just the fact that we've like come this far with our ROV and um, now we're just like finalizing everything. We've tested under the water and we have a vehicle which is able to maneuver around objects and pick up certain things. Before we go in the water every day, we've been spending the entire day on it. So when it goes in the water and actually works, it's like really happy because like your entire day you spent working on it wasn't going to waste. I think a lot comes uh, out of you know, something going wrong. I think uh, when you're able to like fix it, then you really understand how something works. We had some issues initially with some buoyancy. We've been told many times this year, you do not have enough time, and they are absolutely right. We don't. In Federal Way, we show up and unexpectedly, some things end up not working the way they're supposed to. Some wires come disconnected. We uh, don't meet some of the criteria needed for the safety requirements. And our team specifically, we'd stayed up until 4 a.m. that day, finishing up the ROV, running on an hour of sleep. And we were making a lot of last minute changes like at the site and trying to make sure that there were no sharp things because that's like the main thing. So we were doing a last, lot of last minute work and everyone was, was on board. And we were trying to get our engineering presentation ready and make sure that like that's complete because that's half of the points for the competition. Our part of the competition, the ranger class, all the cameras are working right now. Participated in the diving pool. Three, two, one, go. Every pool we've practiced in had been no more than six feet, some of them not even six feet. And we got to this competition not knowing necessarily what to expect. It turned out being a 20 foot deep pool. Right off the bat, it threw us off guard. There were two times we got in the water. The first time, we ran into some issues um, in the water itself. Right off the bat, we ran into one of the props and it fell over and covered the rest of what else we were supposed to be working on. So it just gave us a huge deficit straight off the bat. The camera with the laser isn't working. Our team worked together really well. A little steady. Yeah, our communication was pretty good and uh, we kept like our heads pretty level. Oh my god, I pulled it out. We didn't like 
give up. Overall, we had a little hiccup in the beginning, things that we can work out. But overall, for the testing that we've done, I think it was a pretty successful first go, and it's just a few things that we can change for our second try. You're in the water. But in our second run, we did better than expected. We were able to fulfill at least about 60 to 70 percent of the tasks. You can, if you want to deliver that all the way up, we get five points. Got into the water and just okay. immediately yeah, go, went for the tasks okay. that we knew how to do. Okay, five points out. Okay, go down. We went the easy ones and we were super happy with our performance. We pulled up all the things, some things we didn't even think we would be able to pull up. You're good, release, release. Our ROV just worked out right in our favor. Get the sample, get the pH sample. We were able to actually get 125 points on that second run. Oh, we did better the second round because we knew what things weren't working and we knew what a new strategy would be to get as many points as possible. But then we got second place and that was just like entirely, we couldn't believe it. This was so fun, uh, especially with the camaraderie. Just being with this group of people, it has been such an experience. Because we got second place, we now qualified for the international competition in Tennessee. There's going to be teams from all over the world. We'll get to see how they approach the solution and hopefully get inspiration for next year.